Andy Austin 503 and today we have two extremely special unboxings. One of the DX3R Pro, our radio control system, and the other one is of the Losi 5T. So first of all, obviously we're gonna get into the 5T. So it's just some text packs, obviously it's got all um, four wheel drive, permanent four wheel drive, 26cc gasoline engine, built in telemetry, uh, giant quarter scale servos and all steel gears, so that's very good. So let's open it up. Um, I've just returned from my local hobby shop, so I mean, I haven't taken it out. I haven't taken it out. There it is inside there. The last of 5T, I mean, there's my hand. So, yeah, this huge beast out. There it is, the 5T. We're going to put this aside for a second, and there, because there are a couple of um, boxes in here. Obviously, this says um, in charge of batteries and all that. That's a protective layer. Here, as you can see, are two boxes. Now, inside those boxes are some tools that will help you get the body off and operate it. So, this is the box, guys. It's huge. So, this one is going to now here, these are the two boxes. All right, so now I'm just gonna get into these. There we go, the first one. Aha, all the instruction manual. Huge instruction manual, of course. And the bind plug is in there, so yeah. So I'm just getting out the instruction manual. It is, the thing is, huge truck, huge instruction manual, you know. That's how it works. As I said, this is a fifth scale all drive truck for Mossy. There is the instruction manual, obviously, a huge instruction manual. We're going to put that to the side. Second box, this will help me get the shell off. Alright, so here are uh, your tools. Obviously, um, this is your box of um, two motor oil. Here you've got the charger. Different types of wall warts. Here's your charger. Wall warts. Obviously, these are the different things. I might just take them out of the back. So, see, you've got here, you've got the Australian and. Um, here is the wall wart charger. So, that's how it looks. technically all you have in the bag. Oh, and also, you have your wrenches in this bag, which is obviously like for the spark plug and, and like stuff like that. Okay. So this is this is everything to get you up and on. You. So here you've got your spark plug wrench. That's your spark plug. And then here you've got your wheel wrench. Wheel wrench and a couple of other wrenches to, um, you know, tighten your wheels and all that. Um, these are ba these are the basic tools that are available to you, and these will do. Okay, here you've got your L drivers. I'm not sure what they're called, but anyway, and they used to take the body off. So yeah, and then you've just got some. drivers in there. So I'm just going to put everything aside for now. I'm going to put this huge monster up on the table. So. Whew. That is one heavy truck. Okay, so now to take the body off, okay, there are two pins here, okay, um, near the light post. Good. There. Another one here. And then there are also two at the back. They're the shocks, so you take that off. And now, to take the body off, the front is pretty easy. All you have to do is wrestle it off. Because it sits on two posts. Oh, and I forgot. There's one more step. 
Okay, um, under the chassis, I'll flip this car around. Under the chassis, here, here are four bolts that keep the body on. So, what I'll do, I'll go off camera, undo them, and I'll take the body off. Alright guys, so what I've done, I'll just flip the horsey on its side. And there are obviously um, four bolts here that hold the um, shower on, so I'll just unscrew those. Alright guys, so now I'm just unscrewing the final bolt that keeps the body on the actual car. So these four giant bolts are fitted into there to keep the body on. Alright, so now we should be easily able to take the body off. Alright guys, so now we're ready to remove the body. Here, uh, obviously we've taken out the pins and they sit, they're, they are clipped underneath two poles here, so you just lift the body up there. Moving on to the back here, um, here the pins sit right in here, so obviously you can see that there are two body posts there, and then what you have to do, as you can see here, you have to, because the um, roll cage is fitted into there, so you have to pull it this way, so we'll just come here, and then hopefully, let's get this off, just simply pull this off, There we go. So this is the roll, this is the whole cage sitting on the ground and it comes up to my waist. It's an absolute monster. And in here, this is what they call the roll cage. So this is just extra protection. Obviously you've got your mouth flaps there. So we're gonna put this aside. So this is the truck itself. It's huge, it's a four by four. Okay? So some tech specs, this is the extra large big bull shocks. I put my hand around them and they're huge, they're absolutely huge. Here you've got your 800cc fuel tank. Here you've got your engine, 26cc gasoline engine, spark plug up on top. True quarter scale steering servos and brake servos, they are absolutely monster. And obviously here you've got your um, rear shocks. Look at that. Individual suspension, love it. Epic. Alright guys, so that's basically the lossy 5T out of the way. So what I'm going to do right now is... Oh, and here, there are some disc brakes right here. Okay? So the stick, whatever you call it, I forgot the name, sorry about that. Um, but there are the disc brakes here. Okay? So that's the lossy 5T, okay? So now I'm obviously going to lift it off. Huge truck weighs about 20 kilos. Okay, so we'll get back to that in a moment. But now, obviously, when I bought my truck, I bought the DX3R Pro. Alright, guys, so now we're going to be doing the unboxing of the DX3R. This is obviously the radio for my Lossy 5T as it is a bind and drive. So, just so it's out like this. This is obviously the plastic. You can put that down there. And here, um, you've obviously got the box. Now, these are just some tech specs. You get a um, receiver for it. You have a um, more, um, display on it, drop-down wheel, and yeah. Um, this, the crazy thing about this radio is that it has a 80 kilometer memory. So that means you can, you know, I can ride that 80 kilometers from this, which is absolutely crazy. Obviously, I haven't opened this either, so... Yeah, first time. Okay. Okay, so just this is the box, I'm just gonna put it down. Here you've got the instruction manuals, obviously there, and you've got some stickers, so we don't really need to know about that. The X3R Pro itself. When you open the box, it looks like this. Okay? First things first, DX3R Pro. It is, eh, whoa, that feels really great. Um, 
it's really um, very good because you can tune it to boats, cars, etc. And here you've got the display, which shows you like the speed of your car and everything, so that'll be very handy. Um, it has a drop down wheel, which is very cool. And one thing, you are able to change the sides of the wheel, so that's very handy as well. So we'll just put that to the side a bit. Now, um, in the box, um, you can see quite a lot of packages. I'm just going to open all of them. Just going to show you. Oh, and here is the SR33100 receiver pack. So this is, you can put this in the lc 5 t but I'm not going to because I already have a receiver in there. So, yeah. That is the receiver right there. It's micro. It's so small. Okay. Um, moving on, so I'm just taking out these things here. There we go, got that one out. Okay, so here's all the things that comes with the DX3R Pro. Um, this is the um, handle brick there. Not sure if this is the thinner one or the thicker one. I'm going to take it out anyway. I'm pretty sure this is a thick one. Anyway, so that's the handle there. I'm not sure what this is. This is some kind of, probably it's the receiver pack stuff. It's just like a cable. Um, here you've got your L wrench to work on the um, actual radio itself. So that's obviously the L wrench. Just to unscrew these things, so that's that. Um, here you've got your bind plug, but obviously there is a bind plug in the 5T itself here. So that's the bind plug in there. Um, also, um, there's some extra accessories here. Um, these are just spare, so there are a couple of spare parts in there. Now, if you want to switch over the handle part or add another one if it's broken, you just take this. Because that's, well, that's technically that part. So a lot of spare parts in here. And like, you know, some stuff that, that are not really necessary. So that's just, obviously, parts for that. So, yes, that is the unboxing of the Lossy 5T and the DX3R Pro. One final look at them both. So I'm obviously going to get the um, 5T down first. This is it. Look at that suspension. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to take the body clips out. I was surprised because I thought these body clips were going to be bigger, but that's how big they are. So, I'm just going to take out the things here and here. Now two body clips. Get that up off. Any second? Yes, got there. So that's the body. Obviously, here's the full body roll cage. Now, if you want to take that out, there are multiple screws here, everywhere around, which you can unscrew, and then obviously it will come off. Oh, and the unique, unique thing about this is that, obviously, if you break, for example, this part, right, a whole body to buy will cost like a lot of money. Lossy have been smart and they've divided it up into four sections. Okay? Two rear fenders, middle and front. So that'll be very handy. Um, here's the truck, as I said again. Um, triple differential, one rear, front, and then a center in here. Obviously here you've got the 26cc gasoline engine. Here you've got the receiver pack, which I was talking about. Um, huge quarter scale st steering servers. You've got your 800cc fuel tank. With, there you are. No, I'm going to just do this on camera. You've got your choke there, choke lever. You've got your um, pumping thing on my ball. I'm not sure what it's called, so it's like that. And you've got your fly, um, fly wheel. So, yeah, you've got your kill switch right there to kill the thing. And yeah, oh, and here you've got the throttle and brake servos. So, yeah, 
You've got the battery compartment, I'll just show you that quite quickly. So, there you go. So you've got a 3,000 um, milliamp 6 volt nickel metal hard drive battery. Obviously, you can get um, other batteries such as Lycos and all that, but, you know, for the first couple of, you know, they, they are for people who really are into the hobby. I am into the hobby, but, yeah, I've just got it today, so I'm obviously not going to run out and buy. Uh, new things and one really long body, um, one really long pin that helps keep this battery box in. There we are. So that is the Lossy 5T. Um, so yeah, if you want to see the bottom of the chassis, here you go. Okay, um, that's where the engine is. So yeah. Okay. Now, the shocks. Come and have a look at it here. They are monster. I, I'm gonna put, I put, I can put my whole hand around them. They're absolutely monster. And here you've got the air filter. Right there. Um, and so, once again, this is the DX3R Pro. Um, thing in my pop. Radio, it's very cool. So, yeah. Once again, this is the wrong Asian body, so yeah. So once again, guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. As it, Once again, it was the unboxing of the Lossy 5T and the DX3R Pro. See you next time, guys. Probably going to be the first run of this beast. And bye. Oh, wait. I'm going to, because I have a Lossy Mini Stronghold SCT, I'm going to give you a size comparison. So Unboxing of the Lossy 5T and the X3R Pro. See you next time. Bye!